Hello world, Noah here, and welcome to the next video in the Python one-liner tips and tricks series. In this video, we're going to be talking about the dict.get function, which can uh, supply a default value. Let's take a look at today's problem. So here's how it works. We want to implement a function that takes as input a word. If the word is a contraction, like can't, don't, or won't, we want to expand it. Cannot, do not, or will not. And otherwise we want to return the original word. So this is a really straightforward problem, right? We're given some word if it's if it's pretty much any word, you know, apple, banana, strawberry, whatever, we don't want to change it at all. But if it happens to be one of those three contractions, we just want to return the expanded form um, as appropriate. Now of course you could solve this using multiple if statements. Um, but here I've chosen to solve it using a dictionary. And I like the dictionary approach because if you wanted to add more contractions, like shouldn't, for example, um, you could just add another entry to the dictionary instead of adding um, another if statement, for example. And so let's just look at the code on the left, the multi-line solution. Basically the idea is we define a dictionary that contains all of the words that we need to change. So the keys are can't, don't, and won't and the values are the expanded forms cannot, do not, and will not. All right, and so basically we, we have this condition, if word in D, you know, D is the name of our dictionary, so we say if this is one of these three words, if it is can't, don't, or won't, then we want to return um, the corresponding value for that. So if it's can't, we want to return cannot, and so on and so forth. So we just, we, we say um, we want to get the dictionary and the, the key, is the word and this will give us the value which is the expanded form and then otherwise we just return the word untouched we don't want to to do anything to it and so now the question is of course can we solve this in one line and the answer is of course yes and so in order to uh, be able to solve this there's one major thing uh, that you have to notice or one thing that you have to know about the the uh, dict class and that is specifically right over here. So if you want to get the value in a dictionary that's associated with the key, one way to do it is the name of the dictionary and then in square brackets the key, which is what we have here. And this is the same way that you would do for a list or a string if you wanted to index a specific value. But there's also another syntax that you can use, and it looks like this. It's just d.get, and then you put the key in parentheses. So in this case, the key would, of course, be word. And so I'm going to write word. And so if you do d.getWord, it's the exact same thing as using the square brackets, right? It does the same thing. And so you may say, well, why is that interesting at all? I like the square brackets more. I think they're more clear. And I agree with you, but there is actually a reason why it's interesting. And that's because the get function takes, in addition to a key, it has this optional parameter uh, that's called the default and it's none by default, or I guess it gives an error message by default, um, or maybe it returns none, I'm not sure, but it's not really important. The point is that there's this extra parameter called default, and the idea is that if the key is present, it'll return the value associated with it, but if the key is not present, it'll return a default value, which is whatever you choose to specify, right? And so that is a really important, uh, important thing to know because that will help us solve this problem. You'll notice that this technique sounds a lot like the or technique, um, but this one happens to work you know, specifically for dictionaries and it's a, definitely still a good one to know. And so I'm gonna just erase this because it's kind of going into, um, it's kind of going into our area over there, but I'm gonna write up here, you can basically do d.get um, you know, you can do word, and then you can specify some sort of a default. So you can say default is equal to something. I'm going to write X there, but we'll, you know, it's whatever you want. And the idea is that basically what this does, if we say something like, um, you know, our answer is equal to that, basically answer will be equal to D of word, the, the value associated with that key, if word in D, so if that word is a key uh, in the dictionary, and it will be the default value, which I guess we said was X, so it'll be X otherwise. And again, this looks similar to what we did last time, but it's a little bit different because we're dealing with dictionaries here. And so now that we know this, 
we can kind of see how we might make this if else statement a little bit simpler. Basically, we could do something like d.get word and the default value would just be the word, right? Because the idea is that if that word is in the dictionary as a key, you return the value, which is the expanded form of the contraction. But by default, we just want the original word itself back. And so our default value would just be the word itself. And so that should give us a pretty good idea of how to go about doing this. And the way we do it is, and again, I'm gonna write this in multiple lines and then we'll, we'll collapse it. But D, we're gonna use the same old dictionary and I'm not gonna rewrite it. Uh, but D is the same dictionary over here, you know, can't, don't, won't, whatever. Um, but then the idea is we could just write something like return d.get and, uh, and the key is word and the default, we're gonna write default equals because it's a positional um, argument, it's a keyword argument, and the default is gonna be equal to word. And again, this may look a little bit silly because you have word twice, but the idea is here, word is functioning as the key. And we're saying if this word is a valid key in the dictionary, we want to return its value. And so here, this would return the value in, in uh, D, which would be the expanded form of the contraction. Um, but here, word is functioning as the default value. And so we're saying if the word is not a contraction, if it's not in the dictionary, we just want to return the original word untouched. Um, and that's exactly what it'll do. The default value is the original word. And the last thing you need to do to get this to be a one-liner is to just inline that um, the, the D variable. And this is what we did in the last one. And the inlining idea is, is, is a good one. We're only using this dictionary in one place. And so what we can actually do is we can return um, you know, whatever the dictionary is, dot get. And of course the dictionary is gonna have can't, don't, won't in it. Um, and so here I'll update the arrow as well. So the dictionary is gonna have this whole thing, but remember the dictionary is still one expression itself. And then we're calling dot get directly on the dictionary, which you absolutely can do. And so this is still one line, it's still one expression, which is exactly what we want. I guess of course you'd write the dictionary on one line, but we're not so much concerned with it being on one line as it being one statement really, and so and so it doesn't really matter. But the point is you have your dictionary literal, you write out your dictionary there, and then you immediately just call dot get on that dictionary literal that you wrote, and you know you use this this syntax right here. And so that's basically it for this trick. Um, the idea is if you're working with a dictionary, uh, you know, if you can if you can express your problem or you're the solution to your problem involving a dictionary, um, and you want to have this default value behavior, um, then you can use the get function on the dictionary in order to get this behavior that you need. And this is actually useful in quite a few places, and so it's definitely a good thing to know. And so that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.